friends, it's me. I'm going to read a book called Hopper's Easter Surprise. Now, Hopper is an Arctic hare, which um, hare is another name for bunny, and Arctic is where it's really, really cold. Remember, we talked about that, where it was really cold, it's called the Arctic. So, Hopper's Easter Surprise. If I can get this right. Hopper was sitting in his hollow thinking, will I always be an Arctic hare, Mama? He asked. Of course, said his mommy with a smile. You'll grow bigger and bigger and stronger, but you'll always be a hare. I wish I could be another animal once in a while, said Hopper, leaping nimbly over his mother's back. I want to fly like a bird, he said. That would be fun, said his mother, but I'm afraid you can't. Just think of what hares can do, though. No other animal can leap or turn somersaults as well as you. Hopper followed his mummy. Are you right? Hoppo followed his mommy to the edge of the high plains and gazed down into the valley below. Do all hares look like mama? Look the same? Helper asked. I hope not. I don't want to look like all the others, said Hopper. Oh, you don't look like all the others. One of your ears has a beautiful blue tip. When summer comes, your fur will turn brown and you'll look more like the hares who live down there. The Easter Bunny was brown, has brown fur too, she said. The Easter Bunny? Who is he? Oh, the Easter Bunny is someone very special. I have heard many wonderful stories about him. You know, they say he can run faster than the wind. And when he ducks down into the hollow or hides in the underground, not even the falcon with his sharp claws can find him. That's why no one has ever seen him. Well, what else? do they say about him, Mama? Asked Harper, Hopper eagerly. Oh, he is very brave. Neither the fox nor the wolf frightens him. And every year at Easter, he collects eggs from the hen houses and cleverly carries them home. Then he decorates the eggs and hides them for the children to find. There, now, I've told you everything that I know, said Mama. Well, I want to be the, an Easter Bunny, too, cried Hopper, rushing away. But after a few moments, he stopped. Just how do you become an Easter Bunny, he wondered. Hmm, let me think. What did Mama say? You have to be brave, and you mustn't be afraid of a fox. So Hopper went bounding through the forest looking for a fox. At last he found one. The fox was asleep in the hollow log. He had expected a fox to be more dangerous than this. Fast asleep, it looked like it was quite harmless. If only Mama could see how brave I am being, thought Hopper. Suddenly, the fox leaped out and tried to grab Hopper. He had picked up the little hare's scent from a long way off and was only pretending to be asleep. Hopper just managed to jump out of the way. He turned as qu a quick somersault and ran for his life. Hopper raced into a thick 
clump of long grass and crouched down as low as he could. He was out of breath and his heart was pounding. He certainly couldn't run faster than this, than the wind like the Easter Bunny, but hiding was good enough. The fox gave up looking for him and he trotted away. Oh dear! It's hard work being an Easter Bunny, sighed Hopper. He crept quietly out of of the long grass and hopped into the meadow. Hopper couldn't believe his eyes. A brown hare was sitting right in the front of him. Hello, said the brown bear. Hello, said Hopper shyly. Are, are, um, um, are you the Easter Bunny? <laughs> the Easter Bunny? Who is he? I'm just an ordinary hare. <clears throat> That's a pity, said Hopper. Then he told the brown hare everything he knew about the Easter Bunny. I want to become an Easter Bunny myself, he said. Oh, what a great idea, said the brown hare. Come on, let's go to the hen house. It can't be that hard to carry a few little eggs around. Once inside, the two young hares explained to the hens that they wanted to be Easter bunnies and they needed some eggs. Oh, of course you can have some, cackled a kind little hen. Here, take these, one for you and one for you. But mind you, don't drop them. Oh, don't worry, we'll be careful. And thanks a lot. said Hopper. Let's take these back to my mama. She's sure to know what the best way to decorate them. They walked very carefully, but the climb up the high plains was very much harder, was much harder than they expected. Just before they reached the top, disaster struck. Hopper took a tumble and the brown hair tripped over him and both eggs were smashed. Hopper's mother tried to comfort them. When they got home, don't be sad, children, she said. While you were away, someone brought a present for you. Hopper and his friend stared at this beautiful white egg tied with a red ribbon. Is, is it from the Easter Bunny, said Hopper? Yes, it is, said his mommy. He thought you might like to decorate it yourself. You're very tired now, but in the morning I shall show you how to paint it. Then the brown hair curled up close to Hopper, and soon they both were fast asleep, dreaming of how lovely the Easter bunny was to bring him them such a beautiful egg to decorate. The end. So friends, oops, Easter is coming up in just a few days. I know we all want to think about the Easter bunny, which is fun to think about, but let's think about what happened at Easter and what Easter is really all about. It's about Jesus who came back to life. He came back for us and he saved us from the, the sin of the world. So Jesus, if you can, I'm asking you to please open up the Bible and share with all of your friends the Easter story. You will find it in the book of the Bible called Mark. God bless you all, and I miss you terribly. Bye-bye.